all right welcome back guys in the part three of our learning two sessions a lot of it here we are stopping in this error here which says route register not defined because the lot of it comes with this two routes here which we don't need it we don't need them so let's get rid of these two routes and let's very very quickly jump and refresh our page here so it seems like there is another error here, some, another error here, Sandbox error unexpected here in the welcome.php file. Let's just get all of these things here. We don't need it at all. We don't need this, all this thing here because we are not, we are not uh, implementing the auth, the auth uh, control or routes in this application. So we are sticking just with the basic things which are sessions so as you see here it says you are logout and it gives you the, the possibility to login so when i hit this this link here login all right route home not defined because in our web here we don't give this one here a name let's call it a home all right let's go back let's refresh Route home not defined. So let's see why. What's the problem here? Watching this here, not in this place. What I'm doing now? In here. Name. I'm giving it a name of home. So let's get back again and refresh. So what you see here, you are logging now. It's by. Uh, it's the green color here. It says here. It says you are logging and also it gives you the possibility to log out as well as it should gives you so guys okay, it works it works as as it should so when i hit the logout also there is another another error here called the undefined method here flush all right so let's see in our controller here flush not oh flush I type it wrong. Let's get back and refresh. Log out. All right. It's destroy our session. It's now you are now you are log out. It's not anymore logging. Login again. You are logging. Log out again. All right. As you see here, it works as it should, guys. It's very very helpful uh, when you when you implement sessions in your application. As I recommend you guys go in the, up in the the official documentation you will learn a lot of things also you can use if i go here and look for my for my config file here you can see there is a session here as you see there is a many many drivers that are supported by laravel framework which are database redis here cookies file right now by default it use file here and it stores all our session in this storage here this storage folder in the sessions here as you see here there is file these files are the sessions of our the decisions we are using here in our application so guys it's cool thanks for watching and thanks for uh, giving me time and watching here and learning from these videos I, I I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release every video and also when I release every kind of learning peer post things. Thank you very much guys and see you later in the next and very very next tutorial. Goodbye.